Hello everyone and welcome back to another match on WE 2K22. This one is for the SWE Tag Team Championship. We've got the current champions, the House of Black, Malachi Black and Brody King going up against the team of the Sheiks, the Iron Sheik and the Golden Sheik, as well as Team Angle or the world's greatest tag team in Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin. Now this one is going to be an elimination tag team match so essentially last person standing will win the championship for their team um, to be eliminated both members of the team have to be pinned it can't just be one and of course the winner of this match will be gaining three ranking points isn't it it's one for the victory and then two for the amount of teams defeated So a big opportunity here. Of course, the Sheiks are not normally uh, a, a tag team we would put at this high elevation. They were, It was supposed to be American Alpha, uh, Jason Jordan and Chad Gable in this situation. Or was it? No, it wasn't, was it? It was... Um, oh, I forgot the name of the team now, but it was... Ted DiBiase and... Oh, who was it? It was Ted DiBiase and somebody, and they were... DBS and IRS, I don't remember now, but they were like a very pro-American tag team in the early 90s. That's who it was supposed to be, but with the big victories by the Sheiks against uh, teams like Hogan and Mr. T, uh, Hogan and Warrior, was it? I can't remember who it was, uh, Hogan and Sergeant Slaughter, maybe? They got some really big victories early on in the Great American Bash, and that's what's led to them having this tag team opportunity here. Of course, like I said, the current champions are the House of Black. They've held those belts for quite some time now, defended them successfully since taking them away from Bron Brecker and Rick Steiner, Steiner and Son. As the Golden Sheik here trying to work over Malachi Black inside the ring, but Shelton Benjamin is there as well. Again, the match is broken into two trios rather than, uh, rather than three duos, which is a little bit annoying because it means it's very messy, as you can see inside the ring. Golden Sheik and Shelton Benjamin are both just swinging madly and it's uh, affecting each other's manoeuvres. So hopefully one of those two will leave the ring pretty damn soon. Otherwise it's just going to get more and more and more confusing here. That's German suplex there by Charlie Haas on the outside. Shelton Benjamin with a clubbing blow into the spine. And Shelton uh, completely uh, glitched through time and space there for a split second, just hovering around in the middle of the sky. Brody now on the outside. Oh no, it is false count anywhere. I forgot I changed the match type to allow false count anywhere. So Brody King. Okay, this does make things a bit more interesting now then. So it is false count anywhere. I remember now. Because I was moaning about it last time, and I actually did it, didn't I? I actually did what I said I was going to do for a change. I changed the rules. It's still a bit annoying. I wish it would break into uh, into three lots of duos, though, because it is still a bit of a mess around here. And at the moment, Malachi Black is getting a kick in inside the ring, isn't he? From the Golden Sheik and Shelton Benjamin. They're working him over. They're not taking each other on at all, are they? And don't forget, still a few big matches to come up for you, uh, including what we got lined up for you. Uh, we've got a uh, North American Championship match lined up this evening. And then tomorrow night, we will have that triple threat SWE Championship match as Kenny Omega will defend against Andre the Giant. Oh, as I put on my ranking system for some reason, Andrade the Giant. I must have been drunk when I typed that one. And Sergeant Slaughter, of course. That's going to be a very interesting match. As there's a pin by Brody King on the Iron Sheik. Will this be an elimination? It is. The Iron Sheik is gone. And we have our first elimination of the match. The Golden Sheik is now on his own in this match. He's either going to be a hero or a zero in this one. Charlie Haas now on the outside. Looking for the pin on Brody King. It's only enough well, enough for a zero count, really. By the time the referee got there, Brody King had uh, already kicked out of the pin. 
Nice there, Brody getting dropped on the knees of Charlie Haas. Charlie now sending Brody face first into the apron and now in with a backbreaker. And again, you see the iron, uh, the golden sheep, should I say, sorry, and Shelton Benjamin still just completely working over Malachi Black. Malachi is not getting a chance to breathe here, is he, really? Shelton now dropping into the pin on Malachi. There it is for the one, the two. It's only a two count. The Golden Sheik now with the pin on Malachi. I don't know why he thinks he's going to get a better uh, position here. As There's the last ride on the outside by Brody King on Charlie Haas. And that could be an elimination. It should be elimination, really. No, it's only a two. And finally, the Golden Sheik and Shelton Benjamin going after each other. Finally, Malachi gets some respite. And now it's Malachi annoying Golden Sheik by swinging back and forth. I told you, it's a messy one, this, isn't it? It's a very messy one. It's very Lionel, this. As Brody King again with Charlie Haas up on the shoulder. Charlie able to break free this time. But Brody King straight away catches him again. Brody King's strength and power is unrivaled, isn't it, really? There he is, just slamming Charlie Haas down. Big boots now into the chest. Shelton Benjamin working over the referee for some reason. What are you doing, Shelton? Can the ref disqualify Shelton Benjamin for that? He doesn't. He probably should have done, but he does not disqualify Shelton for that. Malachi, lovely springboard moonsault on the Golden Sheik. Boot in the spine of Golden Sheik as well. Uh, I was going to say a lovely takedown, maybe not a, a really lovely takedown, but it's better than nothing, isn't it, I suppose? Uh, another pin on the outside. This is Charlie Haas this time trying to pin Brody King again. Only enough for the one count. Charlie Haas, lovely belly to belly. Now drop it into the pin once again on Brody King on the outside. And that's it. Brody King is gone. Malachi Black is on his own. And all of a sudden, world's greatest tag team in a very dominant position now. It's two on one on one. And Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin in a very strong position. However, that could completely change if there is an elimination. As you see... Malachi Black, middle of the ring. There's the black mass on Shelton Benjamin who drops like a sack of spuds. And there is the pin. Not even a one count. Wow. Shelton was not even having a one count out of that. He got his, he got his head knocked off, old Shelton there. Submission here locked in. Golden Sheik eliminates Charlie Haas. And there we go. It's one on one on one. It's a triple threat match now. It's a triple threat elimination match. The winner will become tag team, or remain tag team champions, depending on how you look at it. The Golden Sheik eliminating Charlie Haas by submission. Who saw that coming? And now Golden Sheik trying to work over Malachi Black, but Shelton Benjamin caught him. Nice splash in the corner. There's the pin, but Malachi is having none of it. He wants just to kick and strike everyone himself at this point nice leg breaker there by Malachi who now rolls through Shelton straight into that single leg Boston Crab and Shelton is gone we're down to a one on one Malachi Black versus the Golden Sheik and all of a sudden the world's strongest tag team have gone from massive favourites to win this one to be in the first team fully eliminated. And then there was two. It was Malachi Black. It was the Golden Sheik. Who would have thought these would be the final two? And I mean, on paper, you know who's going to win this one. But this game is not on paper. Everyone knows this game makes little to no sense whatsoever. And that is what's being proven here today. 
And it could be proven even more here as the Golden Sheik goes in for the pin. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god, that was close. That was so freaking close. Malachi though with a big strike on oh, the Golden Sheik. And Malachi Black, no! The Golden Sheik survives. Holy black -a Oh, no, okay. Okay, I mean, it was fun while it lasted. It was fun by it lasted. But the House of Black, Malachi Black, absolutely turns this one back in his favour. And there we go, Malachi Black remains tag team champions alongside Brody King. Where are we? Brody King gets himself another tag team win. The fifth tag team win of the year for Brody King. That puts him up to a plus seven in the rankings, while Malachi Black is going to move up to a plus 13 in the rankings. We have got the Golden and the Iron Sheiks. Iron Sheik is going to drop down to a minus two. Golden Sheik is going to drop down to a minus six. And then we have Charlie Haas, who moves down to a minus two. Shelton Benjamin, who moves down to a minus four. Then in the tag team rankings, Malachi Black and Brody King with a victory. Um, and two bonus points is going to move up to plus 11 in the tag team rankings. Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas, the world's greatest tag team, moved down to a minus two in the tag team rankings. While as the Sheiks will move down to a minus four in the tag team rankings. There we go. What a good match. I quite enjoyed that match. Uh, and still your tag team champions then, Malachi Black, Brody King, the kings of the Black Throne.